All right, here we go. Hi there, and welcome to this day in history for April the 2nd. April the 2nd is the 92nd day of the year in the Gregorian calendar, 93rd in leap years, with 273 days remaining to the end of the year. April 2nd is World Autism Awareness Day and also International Children's Book Day. Today's word is hanker. Hanker is a verb that means to have a strong desire for. Folks might say, I've got a hankering for this or I've got a hankering to do that. Hanker is thought to come from Middle Dutch hangen, which means to hang, <laughs> like hanging around or lingering. Now, I'm not sure exactly how that's a verb, but that's what it said, so there you go. I'd like to take a moment to mention that links to my sources are included in the show notes. I ask you to go ahead and click that like button and consider subscribing if you haven't already. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. And remember that you can share this video with a link in your email, messaging, or social media. Not sure if I already mentioned that there's a playlist to my This Day in History playlist, <laughs> all these videos, and there's a link to that in the show notes. I will also put a link to that up in the iCards for you. And with that, this is the birthday of Frankish King Charlemagne, born April the 2nd. Seems pretty certain that he was, in fact, born on April 2nd, but different years have been offered as his birth year. I'm not sure exactly why that is, but it was a long time ago, so we'll give him that. For today's discussion, we'll take the one in the middle, the year 747. Also known as Charles I or Charles the Great, this was, of course, before the Frankish realm came to be known as France and its people French, Charlemagne has come to be known as the father of Europe having united most of Western Europe for the first time since the Roman Empire. He lived until the year 814, which, if he was, in fact, born in the year 747, would make him 66 years old. On April 2nd, 1513, Spanish explorer Juan Ponce de Leon first sighted land in what is now Florida in the United States. On April 2nd, 1800, Ludwig von Beethoven led the premiere of his first symphony in Vienna. This is the birthday of Hans Christian Andersen, born April the 2nd, 1805. He was a Danish writer, quite prolific as a novelist, short story writer, playwright, and poet, but is perhaps best known for his fairy tales. His fairy tales include such stories as The Emperor's New Clothes. I was just wondering about that story the other day. The Little Mermaid, The Princess and the Pea, The Ugly Duckling, and more. I'm sure you'll recognize some of those titles. Mr. Anderson lived to the age of 70. This is the birthday of American businessman Walter Chrysler, born April 2nd, 1875. He founded, of course, the Chrysler Corporation, which went on to become one of the big three auto manufacturers in the United States. Pretty sure I have some car buffs in my viewership. So you probably know a good bit more about this than I would, but the Chrysler brand, uh, it stands behind Dodge, Jeep, Ram, and Mopar. Chrysler Company, of course, has been acquired by several other companies, changing hands several times in the last 10 or so years. They are currently a subsidiary of a company called Stellantis. But this is about Walter Chrysler. He lived to the age of 65. On April 2nd, 1900, the United States Congress passed the Foraker Act, which gave Puerto Rico limited self-rule. The first full-time movie theater in the United States opened in Los Angeles on April 2nd, 1902. The RMS Titanic began sea trials on April 2nd, 1912. It was thought to be extremely safe, unsinkable, as a matter of fact, and people were so confident of the Titanic's ability and stability that they scrimped on lifeboats. I imagine we all know that the Titanic hit an iceberg and sunk on her maiden voyage. 
And we'll probably talk about that some more when it happens in a couple weeks. President Woodrow Wilson asked the United States Congress for a declaration of war on Germany on April 2, 1917. April 2nd is the birthday of several actors and artists and musicians. We could be here all day just naming them and saying a little something about them, but I can't help but tell you that this is the birthday of Marvin Gaye, born April 2nd, 1939. He lived to the age of 44. This is the birthday of an unusual radio personality known as Dr. Demento, Born April 2nd, 1941, he is still alive, turned 79 this year. I would be tickled to pieces if you have ever heard of Dr. Demento and or if you ever listened to him on the radio. We used to go out of our way to tune in and hear him back in the 70s. The Dr. Demento Show. You could hear things on there that you wouldn't hear anywhere. You could probably hear them on the internet now, but back then, it was very unusual. <laughs> also, the birthday of one of my favorites, Leon Russell, born April 2nd, 1942. Hopefully, you've heard of him, but if you haven't, you've certainly listened to music that was influenced or written by him. I could very nearly do an entire episode just on Leon Russell, but we will suffice with the mention of his birthday today, April 2nd. I'm so sorry to tell you that he passed away in 2016 at the age of 74. Remarkable human being, Leon Russell. Now, soap operas had been on the radio for years, so named because they were often sponsored by soap companies. On April 2nd, 1956, soap operas came to television when As the World Turns and the Edge of Night premiered on CBS. The actor Charlie Chaplin left the U.S. when he'd been labeled a communist during the Red Scare of the 1950s. And on April 2nd, 1972, he returned to the United States for the first time in nearly two decades. The computerized legal research service called LexisNexis was launched on April 2, 1973. Back then, they collected court records and legal decisions, kept them on their own huge computers. But of course, since the days of the internet, now they have transitioned their database service to the Amazon Web Services Cloud. An accidental release of anthrax spores from a lab in the Soviet Union killed 66 people and an unknown number of livestock on April 2nd, 1979. On April 2nd, 1986, Alabama Governor George Wallace announced that he would be retiring from public life at the end of his term, January of 1987. On April 2nd, 1989, Soviet leader Mikhail Gorbachev arrived in Havana, Cuba to meet with Fidel Castro in an attempt to mend strained relations. A woman named Rita Johnson became the first female premier of a Canadian province, that being British Columbia, on April 2, 1991. The mafia boss John Gotti, previously nicknamed the Teflon Don because they never could get the charges to stick, <laughs> was convicted of murder and racketeering on April 2, 1992. Seems like the Teflon wore out and some charges finally did stick. Yikes, on April 2nd, 2006, over 60 tornadoes broke out across the United States. Tennessee was the hardest hit that day, with 29 people losing their lives in the storms. It's getting to be that time of year, so be sure and pay attention to the weather and take appropriate measures for your safety if it's coming your way. Hopefully not today. And that's all I have for you today. Hope you learned something you didn't know before. I know I sure did. I always do. <laughs> As always, links to my sources are included in the show notes along with the playlist for this day in history. I'll be sure and put a link to that playlist up in the corner for you along with a link to last year's episode of this day in history. Our lovely outro music is Divine Life Society by Jesse Gallagher from the YouTube Music Library, and there's also a link to his channel in the show notes. Thank you so much for watching. Give it a like if you enjoyed this video. Consider subscribing if you haven't already. 
Feel free to share this video with others using a link in your email, messaging, or social media. Thanks again, and I'll see you next time. Do that again. Let's make that more distinct. There's my little doggy come in. So much editing. All right. And we've got a little wasp building a nest up there. Looks like it, Donald. Yeah. be laying on the cutting room floor <laughs> so I'll just do that whole thing over <laughs> that might not make it into the video we'll see changing it up <laughs>